I don't know, dude. I am still gassed from that New York trip. I just, I don't think I have it in me to make a video today. So unless you have some sort of brilliant idea. Why don't you check out what YouTube's recommending you? Maybe you'll get inspired. Ah, all right, I guess I could give that a shot. Let's see what YouTube's got going on today. Oh, wow, a Coca-Cola and Mentos video. That's never, oh my God, 23 million views on a Coca-Cola and Mentos video in 2019? SON OF A BITCH! Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new bedpan full of turkey gravy. My name is Leon Lush and I am currently overdosing on endorphins due to your decision to click on this mother video. So we're gonna get right into some YouTube stuff today. Content style, thumbnails, virality, more specifically looking at the infamous YouTuber, Mr. Gear. We're even gonna do some groundbreaking science here on the Leon Lush channel, first time ever. But before we do, I just need to thank today's video sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends, for funding this extraordinarily complex experiment you're gonna witness here in a minute. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play mobile RPG phenomenon with over 10 million players worldwide. It's an incredibly fun, immersive experience for casual or hardcore RPG fans. Now there's something for everyone in this game. A rich story mode, clan battles, over 400 champions to collect PvP combat, raiding with friends. Hell, just the graphics and the detailed art on these champions alone was enough to hook me. I mean, just look at these sexy beasts. Lord help me. My favorite is this skinwalker Norog because not only is he strong, but handsome and sweats bacon grease. Delicious. It's totally free, and personally, I love leveling the heroes and unlocking new skills, but don't take my word for it. Just peep these 320,000 reviews and almost perfect score in the Play Store. Now, Raid Shadow Legends is growing incredibly fast, and they just published this new roadmap with huge updates constantly being implemented. There's new factions, tag team arenas, and new clan bosses you can fight with your clanmates. These constant updates from their dev team make it so there's never a shortage of fun things to do. So go down to the description below, click on the special link, and you'll get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. I'll see you there. So if you don't know who Mr. Gear is by now, you've probably at least seen one of his videos before without actually realizing it was him. Now I first learned about him a couple years ago, beginning of 2017, probably around the same time a lot of you guys did when he was blowing up for what he's probably still most famous for to this day, uh, and that is his glowing 1000 degree knife videos. <laughs> When I say blow up, we're talking over half a billion with a B views in just two months. That's a lot of rubles. Yes, he's Russian. <laughs> so that glowing 1000 degree knife versus Coca-Cola video is his most viewed to date at 87 million views. And what do you do when you have a video pop off like that? Well, you make about 20 more back to back. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that if an object exists, Mr. Gear has cut through it with a glowing 1,000 degree knife. Now it is rumored that allegedly Mr. Gear stole this 1,000 degree glowing knife video from a smaller YouTuber and then went on to make these videos and have, you know, the biggest blow up of all time, making millions of ruples from it. What is that if not a good lesson that life is unfair and ideas are cheap? So once that trend died down, Mr. Gear would go on spamming these bizarre experiments until he'd find something that would pop and he'd recreate that until that trend would die down and rinse and repeat. Now, Mr. Gear isn't really unique in his content. I mean, he's one of thousands and thousands of individuals or corporations that are creating content from conception to execution with the sole purpose of exploiting YouTube's algorithm as best as possible. And I don't mean exploit in the negative sense. I just mean people with an understanding of YouTube making decisions to maximize their business. And in order to do that, it helps to understand the wild complex, big, bad, scary YouTube algorithm made up of millions of lines of code. <sighs> Turns out, it's not that complicated. Broadly appealing topic and a title and thumbnail that are impossible not to click. It's literally that simple and Mr. Gear's channel is a perfect example of that. Of course, I'm dumbing it down a bit and as always, it's easier said than done, but it's good to be reminded that click-through rate is the king analytic that absolutely makes or breaks videos no matter how awesome the content is. Unfortunately, most of us didn't start our YouTube channel for the sole purpose of crushing specific analytical metrics like Mr. Gear and channels like him, but that's the real beauty of YouTube, I think. At any given time, there are 
are a million different ways you can get from point A to point B. It's just up to the individual to figure out what works best for them. And there is no gatekeeper. Literally anybody with the right amount of resilience and determination can be successful in an age where social media has commoditized people's attention. Now before a few days ago, I hadn't thought about Mr. Gear in a long time, but when I opened up YouTube and I saw this thumbnail, I was like, oh, my boy is back on his shit. A fish tank filled to the brim with Mentos with bold, beautiful Mentos branding on the side and two huge buckets branded perfectly with Coca-Cola spilling over the top, ready to splash into the fish tank full of Mentos and cause a huge science boner? I could have been bound, gagged, and tranquilized, and I still would have found a way to click that video before I even knew what I was looking at. That is the kind of shit that gets 26 million views in a week. Mentos and Coke, the oldest science experiment in the book. It's like we're at a fucking seventh grade science fair, and it's pulling 26 million. That video probably made over a- God damn it! It's 2019! Mentos and Coke?! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! And listen, I want to be abundantly clear, okay? That anger you just saw, uh, is not shade. It is just pure, unadulterated jealousy. Simple as that. So you click on the video, of course, because of the gorgeous, enticing thumbnail, and you're met with some tasty, royalty-free music and several minutes of jump cuts to guide you through the setup process. The anticipation builds in your loins as the thought of buckets of ice-cold Coca-Cola being poured over a 50-gallon fish tank full of Mentos causes your pleasure centers to swell with glee. Your breathing deepens and slows as the moment draws closer, and just then, as the throbbing intensifies and seconds feel like hours, it's finally here. The buckets soar gracefully through the air as they simultaneously dump their contents all over the Mentos and oh my god, yes! Oh, what the f*** was that limp dick finish? I swear to god, I mean, I have not been this disappointed since that time I tried to say no to Bill Cosby. Anyways, they fill the tank with water, do a bunch of other weird shit in it and blah 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 blah, 26 million views. Remarkable. You know, I could really learn something from Mr. Gear because my video creation process typically starts with procrastination, uh, then a week of putting things off, and then finally I'll stumble across something that I think has potential to be funny, and eventually I'll get around to recording a video and spend hours and hours editing and trying to make it funny and entertaining, and then in the last minute, in the 11th hour, I'll scramble to come up with an extremely mediocre title and thumbnail, completely doing myself a disservice. And I gotta tell you, that stops right now. It's 2019, baby, and Mentos and Coke is the new trend. Again. Somehow, I... <laughs> when I saw that video, and my recommended with that amount of views, I had an awakening in my soul, in the gutters of my belly. So the only thing left to do now is to stock up on Mentos and Coke. This is so dumb. Set everything up on a folding table. Overcoming all the obstacles in my path to greatness. Yeah. You're really just disrupting the whole video here. All right, there he goes. Nice work, buddy. Nice moves. Then all that's left is to do the work on this crazy, wacky science experiment. Without question, unwrapping 60 individual packs of Mentos is what I'm most looking forward to, for sure. I'm halfway through unwrapping the 60 packs. Listen, I gotta hand it to Mr. Gear. This takes in a, a level of bravery and this, a mental toughness that not many people possess. I mean, I'm this close to throwing in the towel. My fingers hurt, I'm sweating, but for you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tough it out, so let's keep going. That was pretty awful, but as you can tell, the mentos don't quite reach the top, but fortunately, that's why we have Photoshop. And really, all there is left to do is get the perfect thumbnail, because ultimately, this whole experiment doesn't matter. Only reason we're doing all of this is to get that clickable thumbnail. So I got the GH5 set up right here at 180 frames a second. I'm gonna take a still frame. I'm doing a video. What I'm do you have to say about that? I'm doing a Mentos and Coke experiment. Let it happen. It, it's for the thumbnail. It's for the thumbnail, I promise you. Yeah, I know. If you were a little older, you'd probably think it was really cool. Oh no, I dropped a little bit in there. That was close. For the sake of having it come out fast, I just need to saw these off. Oh no, 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 no. So now that the tops are off, we can get that pour that'll give you the fast flow to get maximum reaction from the Mentos. 
I don't know if I'm gonna use that thumbnail I just got or if I'm gonna pull a still from the actual reaction happening. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding? <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's the most anticlimactic, pathetic thing exactly. I've ever seen. Not the first time I've heard her say that. <laughs> and that's exactly what the Mr. Gear video was. 25, what was it, 30 million views he got for doing an experiment ah, like careful. this? He filled up a fish tank, like I did, and then like the whole build up of the video, and then he pours it in, and that's exactly I feel what like happened. it could be anything. Like, the Mentos didn't do shit. No, I mean, they're supposed to... So as we saw in the Mr. Gear video, it was equally anticlimactic, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we got a decent thumbnail out of it. I just gotta use a little Photoshop magic to hopefully bring it to life. And enter the hardest part of this entire thing, Photoshopping a good thumbnail. I mean, if being good at Photoshop was like acting, I'm like Gary Busey. Uh, interesting, but consistently bad. All right, so there it is. My first attempt at making an entire video for the sole purpose of creating a highly clickable thumbnail that could lead to a 25 million view banger. Now my intuition, that's almost never wrong, is telling me that I'll probably fail miserably. But in the words of the great paper connoisseur, Michael Scott, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. God bless. Yeah.